I find out how foreigners are treated in Delhi. I wasn't allowed in. That's very, very sweet. Check out some tourist sites, taste some local food and go shopping. Today was our final day in Delhi and Jake and I had decided to go out with lovely Reka. So we're completely sweating away, but before we leave Delhi tomorrow morning, I wanted to come to the Jama Mosque. It looks very, very similar to, to me, to the Badshahi Mosque in Lahore. And I'm intrigued to find out more. I want to know what it's like on the inside. I have to say, yesterday I came here and I wasn't allowed in without paying 400 Indian rupees uh, to cover myself which was actually quite annoying. i tell you why. I was wearing a long dress, high neck, down to the floor, below my elbows. And I'm not being funny, I'm pretty experienced when it comes to mosques. And uh, it wasn't the best impression. I asked the guy what's wrong with what I'm wearing and he couldn't answer me. And it left me feeling a little bit sad that I couldn't go in. So today I'm wearing what I've worn all the time. I've worn this outfit in many mosques around the world. And, uh, and then, no, thank you. There's absolutely no reason why they won't let me in. And if they charge me again, on principle, I won't go in. But I'm hoping today they won't challenge me. Let's see. My trusty scarf. Yeah, look, too good. There we go. Now. I had a scarf yesterday, but I couldn't get in. Let's see, look at what I'm wearing. If that gets challenged, the guy on the gate is not a man uh, who is serving his religion. I'm so slow at doing this. Jake, Jake's feet are going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I was very much hoping I wouldn't face a problem as we walked in. This time there was no problem. Guess what? There was a different guy on the gate. I'll tell you. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait till you see what I can see. Look at the amazing architecture on the Jama Mosque. And if we compare it with the Badshahi Mosque in Lahore, you'll probably draw the same conclusions as me. It is like the Badshahi Mosque. It's that Mughal style of architecture. It's huge. Just taking it in. Sorry, guys, you have to wait for me to take it in. It's got these two enormous minarets. Beep, beep, sorry. Got to walk on the old, uh, got, to, got to walk on the carpet again because it's too hot. You see this? You've got to jump. You've got to jump, Raker. Oh. Do you know what? I don't think I'll ever get bored coming and visiting these places. Oh, gosh, even the carpet's hot. Right, hang on, I've got to run, I've got to run, I've got to run. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Jakes? Hot. <laughs> hot. Hot but lovely. Hot but lovely. Look at this place. Everybody's cooling off. Hello. Hi. Wow, everyone's by the water. Look at these guys just washing their faces. I'm not surprised, it's so hot. We're just gonna take a little stroll. Can we walk on this? Is it hot? I can do it. Can we do it? No, we can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just gonna do a little walk and a talk because I thought it looked a bit more, you know, energetic. <laughs> we could do it on the, on the rug, but we just stepped down onto the floor and it was too hot, look. <laughs> just down on this and I was like, no. I was like, run over there. Jake, let's do a walk and a talk. Let's run to the rug. Go, 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 go. Stop, stop, stop. Right, we're on the rug now. We're on the rug. Come here, next to me. Right, this is this is how we run. Oh, look at the backdrop. Look at the backdrop. Right, so Jake, I'm going to tell you about this place. This place was built in 1644. It is the largest mosque in India. How tall do you reckon those massive towers are behind us? Minarets. Uh, how tall? <laughs> 40 meters. 40 meters high. Can you believe that? Right, single file, go. Single file. <laughs> 
If you're into your architecture or religion, this is a great place to go. And of course, you get to meet loads of lovely people. Well, we only had 10 minutes in here because I haven't been to Delhi before and I want to see as much as I can. So hopefully I've shown you enough of uh, the Jama Mosque that you've got a bit of an idea. And now I'm just walking across the really hot tiles and I'm going to have to shift to get onto that rug. There we go. <laughs> Time to get my shoes on. After the mosque, we went in search of something sweet to eat. And before I could get there, I had the pleasure of meeting more friendly locals. Uh, I, I've just met these lovely ladies. And this is my first trip to Delhi. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm just going to try this sweet shop. What do you think? Uh, yes, is it good? Uh, good, very good. Tell me, what, what are the, is it the kulfi? Kulfi? What are they like? Are they nice? Nice. Are they nice? Should I try a mango one, yeah? Yes. Mango. Okay, well, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. So I am here in the heart of Delhi and I am by the Canvas Sweet Shop. This is, well, it looks to me like one of the most popular sweet shops there is. Look at this. Well, this place certainly had loads of sweet things and also loads of friendly people. One of my main memories will be how keen people in India are to come and say hello. It's really lovely. And what are you buying today? Which sweets? Sweet. Which yeah. ones? These ones? Ah, the halwa. Yeah, halwa. I'm going to try the uh, kulfi. Yes. I've never had it. I'm going to try the mango kulfi. Nice to meet you. Look, I like your outfits, Matt. My bow. Yeah? She's my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law. I love the fact that you're wearing matching outfits. That's very, very sweet. Look. Lovely. Nice to meet you. Have a great time. Everyone's so friendly. Mmm. Wow. Jake pointed out that we actually got the Kesa Pista Kulfi, which is pistachio. Thank you, Jake. Uh, What's it like? like powdery enough. Powder. Ice cream. It's what? Ice cream. It's like ice cream. It's like ice cream, yeah. Mm. This is so good. Oh, Jake's dropping it. Look, 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 look. It's slipping. It's like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> It'll be easy to find Jake. We'll just follow the drips. No losing you today then, Jake. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know how to eat this quick enough. I've definitely come at the right time. Because all, all the flags are out for Independence Day. It's like a party. Oh, wow, look at this. That is beautiful. I'll leave that for the dog. No, not bothered. Still? Not bothered. Too hot. Let me show you the beauty of this place. The gorgeous architecture, decorative style and wonderful colours looked just magical to me. Rake has brought me here because there is a very old, very traditional jewellery shop that she thought would be nice to visit. We had come to visit Ashish Nahar Jewellers, a family-run business that was the first company to export from India in the 1800s. I love the fact they've been handmade by a family that spans seven generations back. There's something really nice about that. There was only one problem, how to choose. This one reminds me very much of India style. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's something like like a peacock. Yes. Things. Yes. Yeah. Exactly like the peacock feather. Indian inspired. So I went for the green and the blue. Here we go. And I'm very <laughs> excited about wearing them. 
I can tell you something, since this trip I have worn both of those earrings more than any other pair I've ever owned. The thing I like about buying jewellery in different places around the world is that every time you wear that piece, it just transports you back. And those two pieces, particularly the blue one with the gold, the one that for me was more of a, an Indian style, it looks like a, a peacock feather, that's going to take me straight back here. Very happy with that. Sadly, the end had come, and we made it back to the gorgeous Maidens Hotel for the final night before flying to London early the next morning. Mm. I've had the best day today. I've seen so many things, I've met so many people, and now I'm ready to relax. As I sat there catching the last rays, it was time to think back over the trip, remembering the many highlights. We explored a tiny corner of this huge country, and yet we'd had so many different experiences, met so many different people from all walks of life and backgrounds. It filled me with many memories I shall cherish forever, and a desire to return to another corner of India again soon, and keep exploring what is an incredible country.